kind of what I've done in my backyard um, and show some of the cool things, uh, some of the cool maps and quadrats that I saw the students had turned in um, earlier. And then um, have uh, you can take it away after that. Cool. Cool. cool yeah. So, um, so this is the map that I created um, of my backyard. I haven't gotten crazy with it yet. I'm going to add more. But um, this is my, this green area is my survey zone, my backyard. Um, and I have three different zones that I um, kind of zoned out. Um, I measured mine to the kind of nearest quarter meter because um, what we had them do, Dr. A, was they, they couldn't use a transect or a measuring tape or a measuring stick to do any of their measurements. All they could do was measure parts of their body where it's like, you know, the distance between a thumb or a finger. Guerrilla science. I love it. Real science. So it's kind of like if you're out in, you know, trek five miles in and it's like, oh crap, I just forgot my transects. Like you still have to, you know, figure out ways to do all this measurement. So this, I did my measurements to the nearest quarter meter. Um, this is kind of my backyard. Um, these are some of the cool maps that other people created, you know, and I don't want to embarrass anybody. Um, but, you know, you can have everyone put like these true norths in. Some of them, you know, were drawings, which are which are awesome, all laying out the zones. Um, some of these sketches, um, I think I think this one on the right is, is your Sam, right? Where, you know, Sam's doing like this really big area, open area that's near his house up north, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of getting a basic map together. I But I do want to really embarrass somebody because they made an <laughs> epic map. <laughs> Ramey. Ramey made this awesome map that had the zones and she also had like water source and fruit trees rather than she started like putting in all these types of vegetation, which, which I'd like you guys to think about, even if, you know, you might not have a water source, but just kind of what makes your zones unique. So I'm going to, part of my zones that I'll show you in a second, mine, I have two zones that are native plant zones and then two are that are kind of mixed. So I'm going to just try to represent that as you know, visually as I can without making it look, um, you know, cluttered or whatever. But I thought this was awesome, Ramey. Um, and so that's what they are doing. That's what they did this week was first create a map. And then they had to take photos of their, their survey area and kind of label their zone. So this is my backyard. This is my zone one, which is a native little plant corner that I, I have. Um, Zone two is, I have it, you know, that circle around in the middle that's all grass. It's a mixture. It's where my fire pit is. It's where it's like a mixture of natives and non-natives. I have like a bunch of citronella plants around here that are going crazy. My zone three is a new native plant area that I, I just planted about a month ago. And zone four over here, which you can't, you see half of it. It's a, it's another mixture of natives and, and non-natives are you, are you saying the banana is your native <laughs> that, it's, that's not a banana that's a massive bird of paradise and no it's, it's everything to the left of the of the bird of paradise is native so that just that little here i'll show you, like this little oops um i'll show you in a second this is all um zone one and so the reason i chose this it's you know it's all native the soil is a mixture of like or the substrates of soil, a uh, mixture of soil mulch as moderate sun exposure. This is my zone two. Um, lots of citronella here on the back side. I have a lemon tree. The back side, though, I have a bunch of um, buckwheats and things like that that are starting to grow in that the butterflies love. Um, this is my zone three, which actually looks a lot better than this photo does. Um, <laughs> But I kind of cleared out all this grass too. There's artemisia. There's a, a native lavender. There's three dudleyas. Bunch of evening primrose. There's a ceanothus. Um, and so that stuff's starting to flower now. So this is just kind of my one area that I'm considering zone three. And then this is my zone four. Um, I have a mixture of 
I have a, um, let's see, I have a couple poppies that haven't bloomed yet. These are, this big bush back here is a, is a desert mallow. I have some of my herbs. I have some uh, milkweed and what else do I have? Um, cattle, cattle spinach, which you can see a little bit right here. That's for my tortoises. They love to eat that. So that's kind of how I picked my zones. Um, and everyone had different areas, different ways of serving their habitats. The other thing they had to do was do their measurements. So I have a couple of ways that I have like my meter and half meter measurements. And they had to create, create a quadrat because not all of them have their quadrats anymore. Um, so I created mine just with some twigs. I know I showed my students this in the beginning of class. I always have duct tape around my water bottles and it's for these reasons when I'm out in the fields, it's, it always stays sticky so you can reuse it. And, you know, that took me literally two minutes to make. And it's not perfect, but it's, it's going to be, that's what I'm going to use to do my vegetation surveys. So we had a bunch of different ones, some very innovative ones. There was this, Big one on the left, which is, is going to be fun to use. You might crush some plants with those two by fours, but it still works. Is that um, is that hangers on the bottom? Is that something made out of coat hangers? So two people made theirs out of coat hangers on the bottom. Um, a couple used sticks similar to me. Another um, another student. Was this this might have is this yours, Amanda? That used the cardboard. Yeah, that's mine. Yeah, so he's got a big sheet of cardboard and cut it out. All works, right? It's all it's it's all going to work for us. Um, so they're going to be doing vegetation surveys this week in those zones, um, and then they're going to. I think that's all. That's all I have. Um, I'll stop sharing. And so in those zones, they're going to also uh, do these sticky traps and. Um, the pitfalls that you're going to go over today who here has anybody gotten their sticky traps yet oh nope, cool still i nope, still haven't yet i haven't gotten mine either i think i'm supposed to get mine today i think dr a says he's is supposed to come today oh we got it cool so um if you haven't gotten it yet you you'll get it soon and there's there should be four sticky traps in there some zip ties or some twist ties and a special little surprise that uh, Emily included for everybody that we might do um, starting next week. We might, we might, um, they're uh, native plant seeds. So we might try to plant a couple of them in each one of your zones and see what kind of species um, take off by the end of the semester. So cool. That's kind of all I got. You want to take it away, Dr. A? Yeah.